Come on, let's listen. Everybody, 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 everybody,
Your Honor, Vandersloot's confession means we have finally reached the end of our never ending nightmare. And for me, reaching the end of the nightmare, being over is better than closure. It's been 18 years since Natalie disappeared and Natalie would be 36 years old today. I still miss her every day. It's been a very long and painful journey but we finally got the answers we've been searching for for all these years. We finally, today, we got justice for Natalie. So thank you all so very much and being supportive of us in our long 18 year journey. Thank you. And how do we, inside you said, you look for your son, that we did it. How do you sleep tonight as a mother to have what she has today? Yeah. I think we sleep, we sleep well. I mean, this has been the most unimaginable journey. And, and I know everyone has been with us on this and, and we are so appreciative of it. But for us to finally put this to rest and being over, as I said, it's better than closure because our never ending nightmare had to end. And we are so grateful that we can say that today, that it is over and that is getting justice for Natalie. And you have, the a, you have any indication that we can commission that we can I don't. I just know that there are no charges that will be here for his murder, but hopefully maybe they will look into that. Do you need that or do you have what you need? No, I have what I need, but um, we're. I have what I need. Did you Her believe what you solved. said that he's a changed man? I definitely don't. I don't believe he's a changed man at all. How did it feel to see him in the courtroom? Um, it feels victorious. I feel like you finally be, begin to transition from the victim to the victor and it begins to make the pain and suffering feel somewhat less intense because you're, you are here, you are at this point, the pinnacle of the journey and you've gotten justice and you've gotten the answers you've been so desperately seeking. So it felt victorious. Oh, I'm absolutely confident. Yes, yes. That you had the opportunity to talk to Yoram in the courtroom. What did you tell him? I was able to tell Yoram that I think in this long ending nightmare, I was able to express things to him that I had been wanting to tell him as far as, you know, telling him who he is. And he is a killer. He is a killer. He will always be the killer. He will always be now the black mark in Aruba. He's now confessed to two murders. So I, that was good for me to be able to, to tell him that and we, to share that. Do you hope that Aruba maybe reopen the case? I don't know about that, but I'm just sticking with Victorious right now. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about in the courtroom, they said that you sat as he was explaining what happened. How was that moment? It is shocking and it is horrific to hear a killer that describing the brutal things that he did to my daughter, Matt's sister. It's shocking and it is very disturbing, but it's things But parents have to know the truth. They have to hear the answers as to what happened in order to put this to rest and for it to be over. Beth, did uh, Vandersloot uh, let you guys know others are involved? Did he act alone? Yes, he acted alone. Thank you all so much. Yeah, tell us about, tell us about Natalie. Tell us about the 18 years before. Natalie was very bright, very smart, dedicated young lady. She was on her way to college. She was headed to medical school after that. And I have no doubt she would have made it all the way. So uh, we love her. We miss her very much. And uh, we wake up every morning with thoughts of Natalie. But now we wake up knowing that we have we have reached justice for Natalie. Hey, so she thank was you. truly the best sister I could have ever asked for. Absolutely. Have you have you said a full and complete goodbye to Natalie at this point? Have you visited with her in your own way and let her know that you have peace with all of this? I don't know. I don't really look at it as saying goodbye to Natalie because we wake up every morning and our and the the hope that filled her her life and heart fills ours today. So. We feel like we carry Natalie with us even forward now. And that's a good, that's a, that's a very good feeling. It's like I said, it feels victorious, but thank you so much.
everybody. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. What an incredible moment. An incredible moment. The mother of a teenager who was murdered 18 years ago. And she says, we are victorious. We have the justice for my daughter that we have been seeking for 18 years.